Hi everyone. So I want to talk about I guess early education. Early education because at least here in the United States, the early education people, like preschool teachers, etc., they get paid much more lesser on average than other people who run the older groups, let's say teachers, normal high school teachers or in general. So the younger the kids you work with, the less money you're likely to make in general. And for me, based on what I studied, that seems to be in reverse. Now let me explain why. Because when I was in college studying, um, I took different classes in psychology. And there's classes in language acquisition, which they studied in the very early years, you know, since you're in a womb even, uh, how human beings learn language, all that. And a lot of different theories involved related to, okay, do human beings learn language because it's so part of who they are? Is it just innate? And there's different theories like, okay, is it from the environment? And from, it seems like it's kind of both. Um, it's really amazing how human beings learn in the very early years. And the brain is quite plastic, as they say, which means it can adapt and change really easily. But both in a good sense and a bad sense. Like if you have an infant, like now if you have a baby, if you take that baby, let's say he's born to Caucasian parents, white parents. If you take that baby and give it to, let's say, an African-American household here in the United States and they raise that baby, the baby's going to grow up in such a way where he's going to learn the language of the people he's living with. He's going to talk to them, act like them, because that is what they learn language from. It's from the environment. It's not based on anything doesn't matter who your parents were, it's about what you're exposed to in your early years. Now, if you take the same baby and let's put it, let's say, put it in a Hispanic family, speak Spanish only, and the baby will learn Spanish you know, from the early years. But if he doesn't get exposed to any English in like, until like when they're, he's like seven years old or even three years old, but seven years old, then he's going to have a much harder time to learn English. But if he would have been exposed to both English and Spanish since he was like, you know, since he was born, he would already start speaking both languages around the ages three years old. You know, he's going to already have the vocabulary there. So it's quite amazing that that difference where you're born as a baby, it's like you're designed in such a way where you're able to adapt to that situation. In a way, you're able to adapt to any situation in those first few years. Like, that's why you have stories of children who leave, leave babies, like, in the woods, or they get abandoned somehow, and they get in the woods and they get raised by wolves or some animals, they're going to act like that animal. They're going to become the animal. They're going to have those instincts because that's what they're exposed to. So the same thing, you know, it's just, that's really amazing how human beings are built. At the same time, it can be at a detriment because if babies, human beings, when they're just born, if they're not exposed to the proper situation, environment, they won't be able to as easily adapt to the environment, to the situation that they're in, that they're growing up in. And that happens many times I'm seeing right now, based simply purely on not having the education or also the resources, people who have more poverty situations, they have less money, they have low, lower economic status, meaning, you know, they're just have the education, the awareness that, okay, when they're their baby, what they're being exposed to in their very early years is going to have a tremendous impact. There are studies that are done where it shows that if you're born from college parents, parents who are went to college or who are college professors or you know who are educated versus parents who weren't you know they're gonna have larger vocabulary they're gonna have more language skills simply because the common sense being that the parents who are in college who had at college education they had more vocabulary they're able to use bigger words they're able to explain bigger things and they have that understanding and the babies learn since the early age since being zero years old one year old two years old you know, they are able they pick up on all that. And they then studies on language acquisition for human beings to figure out, okay, what's going on? And for me, being mathematically minded, you know, it makes sense to me that it's like it's a highly sophisticated computer statistics, statistics software where it's compiling all the information in the environment, all the words, all the, the sounds, trying to figure out what is the word from a sentence because 
even just when I'm speaking, it's just pure words. But you're not even completely aware of what's really going on within your brain, what's like processing. There's so much going on, it's like a highly complex system. And, you know, it's like it picks up all information, everything is remembered, recorded in there, and it tries to decipher it, try to figure out, okay, what is a word, what does this mean, based on the information provided to it. And so that's why it's so important to really realize that for education, you know, if you want your child to be the most ed educated, it really starts in the first, like, six years, seven years of his life, of her life. Don't worry about college. Don't worry about money in college, high school, middle school, or whatever. Worry about those first few years. That's the most important part. Because what, what do human beings develop? They develop independence. They're supposed to become independent. The older they get, the more independent they're supposed to become. So when they need you the most is when they're right, when they're just born. That's when they need education. That's when they need you to talk to them. That's when they need as much exposure and just education, support, and everything involved. You want to spend the most amount of money? Spend it during those first few years. The rest, they're going to figure it out because if they're, ed if they're educated, if they're intelligent, if they have that, all the understanding, that structure there, then they're going to be okay because they're going to be able to learn, they're going to be able to read, they're going to be able to study, they're going to be able to do all those things because they developed that already from an early age. And if they don't develop that, then how can you expect them to develop that later on when they're already seven years old, when they've already been alive for seven years on this planet? And so right now it's kind of reverse where our professors, our high school teachers, they get paid more, but they don't need to get paid more. Because anyone who knows anyone who's really intelligent, they don't need a teacher. They're able to go learn something. They're able to go pick up a book and learn, you know. And yeah, I mean, there's the important part where people are there to share and support and make things easier. But when do they need? Th when do we need people? When do we need support the most? When do we need teachers the most? Attention the most is when we're born. Ideally, we sh you pay someone who, if you're not able to be around your child, you pay one person to be around your child, to be there for them one on one. And like, I mean, like a fully educated person is able to show them things, is able to explain them things. That's what's needed more than anything. Later on, it doesn't matter so much because once they're older, they get developed, they get independent, they're able to think for themselves, rationalize it, figure things out because they gave, they already have the tools. So right now we kind of have a reverse where, you know, people aren't paid well to take care of children when they're young years old, when they're very young, and so they're not, they don't get prepared, they don't get the exposure, they don't get the education, they don't get the training when they need the most, and then they put them in school, and then it gets progressively let's say worse in a way because they don't get the older they are you know chances are they're gonna have teachers teachers who are only educated who are only paid who are only paid to be highly educated when they're in college already you know when it's already too late when only the ones who go to college are the ones who already had the chance to be exposure exposed to all this highly educational information because their parents were, were already wealthy whatever they could already talk to them, they were already educated, they were able to expose them to things. So if you wanted to, let's say you have a country, you wanted to transform that country to be more educated, to be more independent, to be more um, skilled and able to do things, put all your money into the first few years of life of uh, human beings when they're born. In the first three years of life, you pour all the money into there, hiring professionals, teachers, everything, like, you know, Everything needs to be focused on that point. First few years of life. Because once you get older, you become more independent. You're able to do things. So, I mean, that's that should be the point there. The rest thing, yeah, pay less money to high school teachers. Pay less money to professors. Pay less money to middle school teachers. Because they aren't as needed. You know, if, and from an economic standpoint. Because once you're educated, then you're able to pick up a book and learn. You're able to do things. But right now we have in reverse where we have uneducated people. So when they go to high school, they don't know to learn. And so it's really important to learn now. It's like, imagine the whole, <laughs> it's like a perfect design of procrastination, the whole design of education. Where it's like we procrastinate educating children until they're older. They're like, oh no, we have to educate them really quickly. We educate them with high school teachers. You pay them more money. College professors we can pay them more money. But it's like procrastination where at the last minute we're waiting like, oh no, your education now is ruined. We have to focus, we have to work harder now. It's like, that's not how it's supposed to be. It should be in reverse, where all the attention, all the attention is placed first in the first few years, and then life becomes easy. And then become independent at an early age already. 
They're able to learn, they're able to read, they're able to do th their thing. They are a human being now. But our system, in general, we're not doing that. So I want to share this. So this is based on everything learned, everything is studied, personal observations from after scientific papers, stuff like that. That's this is still my theory. I'm not plagiarizing anyone else. You know, I'm just saying this based on everything I'm saying. But um, yeah. So I have a lot more I could say in this. I could talk hours, and hours, and hours on these kind of things, talking details. But that's all for now. <laughs> so hopefully one day we can change this through government action, through people opening up schools, so people, you know, taking initiatives with them with their own kids. Find some ways to really realize. Okay, well, we have to put our attention now on the first few years of life, and the rest of the years of life are important. But you look at where all the money goes; it doesn't make any sense. Then all this money goes into when you're older, when it should be when you're younger. You know, if you want to really have someone that's developed, who's skilled, mentally developed. That's what should be the point. Okay. So thank you very much for watching, listening. Bye.